On our way into Austria, we had hit several pits, six by, you know, six by six by six pits. And when you look in there, you'd see women, children, and men fully clothed that were probably thrown in there and then shot. And we wonder, why, why did this happen? And of course, and when you hit Mauthausen, then you knew how terrible it was. At Mauthausen, of course, the 44th, 41st Cavalry was in there first. And then it was given over to our engineers and, and uh, some of our people worked there uh, and taking the uh, identification numbers from those who were dead. Uh, our engineers uh, built the uh, graves with, the, with their bulldozers and we had the civilians who told us that they never knew that the camp was there and of course we didn't believe them. So we let them carry the bodies into the pits that we dug. They didn't like it, but we said, well, you didn't know anything about it, but you're going to bury them. And we did that. And we made sure we had identification numbers from all that whom we buried. Some who were packed, stacked there like cores of wood. It was pretty hard to get their, their identification numbers, but we did the best we can. And I went back there in 19... Uh, 89, my wife and I went on a tour with 11th Armored and I found out that my first cousin had married an Italian, they, this was in Italy, and, he, and they, I found out that he had married my first cousin, but he had been deceased at that time. He came out of Mount Hauser with a lot of sores on him and they had two, they had two, uh, he had three daughters and a son. And uh, I was surprised when I was trying to teach one of the daughters English and I heard the father say to the other daughter something about Mauthausen and I jumped up and of course I cried. <laughs> because if you saw the, the way they treated people, you would never believe it, never believe it. And you couldn't figure out how a person could treat another person with what we saw. And it just just boggled our mind.